Hi everyone! In this tutorial we're going to have a look at how to rig a non-spherical eye in Houdini, which is pretty common with uh, cartoony characters. And there's a slight difference how to rig uh, uh, between uh, non-spherical and spherical eye, uh, simply because uh, of its shape. Uh, the non-spherical eye will penetrate the skin uh, when it will rotate, like we see here. So it must be set a bit differently. And uh, let's have a look at one of the ways how to solve this problem. So the way we're going to do it is we're going to use a spherical eye. And we're going to place and rotate this eye in the correct position. And once uh, we do this, we're going to put a lattice on top of it to deform it. Uh, so let's go into geometry node and create a transform sub. Uh, this is going to be used to actually uh, place the eye uh, in the correct position. The position uh, of this uh, transform sub is um, very important. Uh, it should be uh, truly at the center uh, as much as possible, uh, simply because we're going to use um, this transform sop as a center of rotation later on when we're going to set up constraints. So um, the pivot point of uh, the eye rotation will be at the center of this transform sop. Okay, so I think this is uh, a fairly centered position. Don't worry if uh, the eye is currently penetrating the skin at some places. The point is um, that we are the center of the eye. Uh, now it's time to put a lattice on top of it. So select all the points and click on the lattice on the shelf. Um, for now we're going to use a one division lattice because it's enough uh, to deform this eye. Um, and let's edit this lattice points. So basically we are just shaping the eye uh, to get the desired um, non-spherical shape. Okay, uh, I think the eye looks more or less okay. It is uh, deformed into its position, it has its shape. So um, now we can uh, go and set up some constraints. Okay, so now that we have shaped our eye correctly, uh, we can um, use uh, this transforms up to actually rotate the eye. And uh, simply because uh, the lattice deformation happens later, which means that we are uh, rotating the eye as a sphere and this lattice deformation will uh, shape the eye into uh, always into the same shape afterwards. So if we look and uh, now when you rotate the eye, um, and see the lattice applied to it, uh, we see that the shape uh, doesn't change. And this is exactly what we want. So now we need to set up some constraints. Uh, we're going to use uh, look at uh, constraint. And 
and uh, then we're going to transfer that uh, rotation that we get from the look at constraints back to this transform sop um, that is going to rotate the eye. So let's put down some uh, null object. Uh, one will be at the center of the, the eye, and let's call this eye rotate. And it should be the same position as a place rotate transform sop. So I just copy the translate uh, values uh, to this um, eye rotate. Uh, we should also scale down the the this null to correct size. And uh, now we can set up another null, which is going to be our uh, target, at which I rotate will look at, and place it just uh, in front of the head. So our I rotate null is going to look at this our I look at null. Uh, maybe we should just change the shape of this I look at node. Um, there. So then with another null, which is going to be used to just as a up, up null, when we're going to say look at constraint, uh, simply because uh, this will prevent any flipping uh, when we set up uh, the constraints and put everything into the rig. So this null is just placed above the I rotate null. OK, so now we can set up the look at constraint. So click on the shelf on the look at constraint. And first select the I rotate null, and then the I look at, and last I look at up. And uh, keep position on. Option should be turned on. OK. So now when we uh, move around the eye look at, we see that the eye rotate null is uh, rotating. Maybe just rename the eye look at it, eye look at target to make it more obvious. Uh, at this point, we can start parenting everything into the hierarchy. Uh, we're going to use existing bones that are already deforming the geometry, in this case, the head bone. And we're going to parent this uh, our nulls, like I uh, rotate up and I rotate uh, under this uh, head bone. So let's just go to head bone and, and connect to the first input of I rotate and the same for I rotate up. Okay, so the nulls are moving with the head bone, as expected. Um, OK. For the look at target uh, null, uh, for now, let's just leave it alone. But we could place it anywhere we want. Uh, it doesn't really matter. But for now, let's just leave it here in world space. OK, so now we can parent the eye geometry under the head bone as well, uh, so that eye is placed at the correct position. Uh, so the rotation is still, of course, not correct. Uh, and that is what we are going to do now. We are going to extract the eye rotate rotation and transfer that into the transform SOP in the eye geometry. So one way to get a rotation from this I rotate null into the uh, our transform stop is would be to simply connect the um, constraint rotation values, but um, this would not work correctly because uh, both the I rotate and the I geometry are parented under the same head bone, so we would get uh, double transformation, and uh, so we can try this and see. Uh, by using chop command. Uh, chop command will actually extract the uh, exact rotation value from the constraint. OK. 
okay? So if, if you move the uh, target now, we see that it actually does transfer nicely, but when we move the head bone, we see that the eye rotation is wrong. It doesn't look directly at the target. And uh, this is exactly what we must do. We must check what is um, the rotational difference um, between the head bone rotation and the eye rotate rotation and transfer that to the uh, transform salt inside the um, eye geometry. So to do that, uh, we're going to use another null. And uh, this null is going to be at the exact same position as the eye rotate. Um, but uh, we're going to parent this one uh, under the head bone. So uh, this means that we're going to use this null to actually give us the default rotation of the eye rotate before it is uh, looking at the target. Um, and we're going to check the difference between this two null, eye rotate head pass and eye rotate null. So one of the ways uh, to do this would be to use VR origin command and use it in the transform sub. So VR origin and the first parameter would be our uh, head pass null and the second one will be I rotate null and th this will give us the value back uh, how much rotation is required to rotate from the uh, head position null to the I rotate null. Okay, so that should pretty much be it. It should, the eyes uh, look at the target. When we move the head bone and rotate it, we see that the eyes look in the correct position. Uh, and one thing I wanted to talk about is using the head deformations on this eye geometry. Um, because uh, for the sake of this tutorial, I put the, the eye geometry uh, on a separate object, like you see here. Um, but usually, the eye and head geometry would be play, would be placed inside uh, one object, uh, simply because we can use the head deformers uh, simultaneously also on the eye. But we can still use it in uh, the head deformers if you simply copy like a band in this case, which is deforming the head, and just copy this one into the uh, eye uh, object node. And uh, just place it under the lattice because all the forms should come after the lattice. Uh, and just paste right to reference to the original uh, head deformer. So if you go back to the head deformer, and deform the head, we see that it also deforms the eye. And if you check now the look at constraint, we still see that it works as it should. Um, that's it for this tutorial and um, thank you for watching. Bye bye.